To fill out my forms, I'm going to go ahead and click on the name to open it up. And I'll scroll down to the preview here. If I want to print the entire document, I can click on Print Preview and it will launch a rendered PDF of my document. I can click on Fill Out Document to fill it out or Modify Document Content to insert or strike text. I'm going to begin by filling out the document. These underlined fields are the auto-filled information that we filled out in the transaction detail. If I need to modify this information, I'll click Done here and return to the transaction detail and click Edit to change any of the details. Now these fields will expand to incorporate all of my text. So I can type in the buyer's name. If I have a substantial amount of information, I can hit enter. I can copy and paste information into these fields and they will expand to incorporate it all. I can use my tab key to tab between the fields. And when I'm all done, I'll click save. And then done. If I need to insert text or modify the boilerplate text, I can click on Modify Document. But first, I'm going to click on Print Preview to launch a rendered PDF of my document so that I can view my changes in real time. When I make changes, I can come back to this screen, click Refresh, and view them here. This screen can look pretty intimidating with all of the symbols, but if you hover over each one, it tells you what it does. The plus sign will add a component, the down arrow, will show the details. A plus will increase the font size. A minus will decrease the font size. This is the edit text line. And this red X will delete the line or component. I'm going to scroll down here. And to orient your eyes, this dotted line represents the first paragraph of your listing agreement. These Underlined fields should be filled out using your fill out document mode or are part of the required information that was filled into the transaction detail. So your seller information and your property address is part of the transaction detail. So to edit that, click done, return to the transaction detail and click edit there. To insert text, I can come down to one of these plus signs to add a paragraph component. I can choose text line, line break, data entry line, which is one of those underlined fields that you can fill out using fill out document. Data entry line with label is the same thing, just with a label. You can insert a checkbox, which will also be filled out using the fill out document. I can put in an image or this transaction info is all the information that we filled out in the transaction detail if for some reason you wanted to add that to your document. So I'm going to choose text line here and I'm going to add some of my own text. And if I highlight it, I can bold, underline, or italicize it. And then I'll click save to save it. It will add it in blue capital letters. If I decide I don't want that text, I can hit the red X. And to restore it, I can hit the curved arrow here. Now, if I wanted to modify what a particular sentence says, I can click on the edit symbol and I can add my text on at the end. And I'm going to just delete a few words so that you can see what happens. So highlight and click your backspace key. And then I'm going to click save. And it will strike it out in pink on this screen and it will be blue on your final with a line through it. And then your added text will be at the end. So if I wanted to see what that looks like, I can go back to my preview and hit the refresh. And I can see the text that I removed and the text that I added here. 
Now, if I decide that I ultimately do not want these changes, I can click the show details. And you can see here that I struck through the text and I added my own. But if I want to go back to the boilerplate text, I can click the copy to symbol here next to none and it will return my text to the boilerplate text and it will note the change. So I'm going to hide these details again. And if I go back to my PDF and refresh it, you'll see that it returned my text to the boilerplate. Now, if I'm all done and satisfied with my document and its changes, I can print and download here. But if I need to continue making more changes, I can just hop back into the document and continue working on it. Now that I've filled out my document and made some changes, I'm ready to add my legal description. So I'm gonna click done here, return to the transaction detail page and scroll down to the attachments section. Click new attachment. Now only image files can be embedded into our documents. PDF files will be attached separately. So on this screen, I can fill in a name for my attachment. So I'm gonna put in legal I'm going to browse for my attachment and I've saved it as an image so I'm going to click on that click open and then click save you can click on this blue hyperlink to view your attachment and then I'm going to go ahead and click done and scroll down to my document here You can now insert the image in two different ways. The first is by filling out the document. You can click Control F to search for your Exhibit A and tab through your document. And you see it here and you'll see this transaction image select. Click on the edit button here, select your image and click save. Now, if you don't see an image here, you need to upload it to the attachments section first. So I'm going to select my legal and click save and then click done when I am done. And then I'm going to click print preview and I can either scroll down to the exhibit A or again use control F for exhibit A and you can see my legal here. The other method for embedding an image is to click on modify document and again use the control F to find exhibit A. So we're going to go down to exhibit A. This transaction image select is what we just filled out in the fill out section, but if you wanted to insert an image outside of this image select, you could click on one of the plus signs go to transaction image and then you'll have the same menu as before so image name select one and you can insert your image and then click save i'm going to hit print preview you can again use my control f to find exhibit a or i can scroll down and you'll see it entered here twice because we entered it both in fill in and in modify so I'm going to hop back into my document and if I want to remove my image, click control F again, we're going to go back to the image and I'll just hit the X next to transaction image. And then I can go back to my preview and refresh it and see that it has been removed. To add a PDF attachment, I can scroll down to the attachments section, click new attachments, and give it a name. I'll browse for the file. I'm going to use our how to guide here as an example and click open and then save. And I know that it has uploaded by seeing this blue hyperlink here and click done. Because it's in PDF format, it cannot be embedded directly into my documents. I can either leave it as is and it will print separately, or I can open it up and take a screenshot of my legal description 
save it, and then go through the image process to upload it.